Okay, we're going to create a simple HTML button, and when we click on it, it will take us to another website. Let's see how this can be done. So within the body of your HTML, you can start with the button tag. That needs to have an open and close tag. And then within the button tags, you need to put the text that you want to appear in the button. So I could say visit Google. Now if I save this, you can see that that creates this basic button on your HTML page. Now if you click on it, it's not going to do anything. So what you have to do is put it within the anchor tag. And the href attribute will be the website that you want the button to take you to. And then put this closing anchor tag after the button tags. So now if I save and I click on this button, you can see it opens up Google's front page. Now at the moment, this Google page is replacing the website with the button on it. So to prevent that from happening, if you go up to your opening anchor tag and use the target attribute, and you want to choose blank as your value, underscore blank. So now with that target attribute included, if I click on this page, it actually opens up a separate tab in my browser. Now, if you're happy with the standard gray button, you're good to go. But if you want to apply some formatting to the button, you need to use a little bit of CSS. So in the opening button tag, you write style equals and then open quotation marks. The quotation marks have been put in automatically for me. And the first formatting attribute we're going to look at is the background of the button. So we can say background color, colon. So I then need to specify the color. I'm going to go for a dark background. Now in Visual Studio Code, I can just control space and it will give me these HTML colors. You might have to type the color in, but for example, if you wanted a black background, you just type black in there. Another way of specifying a color would be to specify the RGB value. And in Visual Studio Code, I can do that by just hovering over that little square and then selecting a color and it would return the RGB value. So you can see over here now I have a black background to my button. Let's change the font color to a white font. So what I need to do is put a semicolon after that background color and then specify the next formatting attribute, which would be color. Color is the font color, colon. And then again, I can choose either an HTML color. So if I went for Alice Blue, or I can specify an RGB value. So you can now see that I have white text on a black background. What if I wanted rounded edges to the button? I can do that. I put a semicolon after that formatting attribute, font color. And this time I'm going to change the border radius. I'm going to specify that as eight pixels. So notice it's border radius, colon, and then eight pixels. If I save that, you can see it's given me those rounded corners on the button. Now the software I'm using has put each formatting attribute on a separate line. It did that automatically for me. So I'll come down on a new line and I'm going to specify the height next. So height, colon, I'm going to say it's 50 pixels. Then I'll do the width, colon, and I'm going to say that's 200 pixels semicolon. Then I'm going to do the font size. And I'm going to say that's 18 pixels. And then lastly, I'm going to do font or the font family. And I'm going to say that that is Franklin Gothic medium. Okay, let's save this. And that will update my button. Okay, that's all I wanted to cover in this particular video. Hopefully that's useful. If it is, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe and I'll see you next video.